Hello, everybody. Welcome to week four of Condom Academy. As always, I have with me the lovely Emmy. Hello. What's good, everyone? And today we have the amazing Molly Amber B with us. I'm super oh, the excited. <laughs> <laughs> the government. We threw in the Amber. Oh, yes, we're here. <laughs> Oh God, and Remus is already in the chat, ready to start us off with the puns. I and... need the puns in my life. <laughs> oh my God, you're the only one who likes them, Finny. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's great. How are you doing, Molly? Oh, I'm doing well. Um, you know, I, I'm still pretty hyped up over the MK movie, not going to lie. So Ooh, it's yes. been a fun, fun weekend leading up to this, and I'm mm -hmm. looking forward to this tonight, too. So it's a good day. Awesome. Hell yeah. What did you like most about the movie? Um, Honestly, I think that they did an amazing job with the way that they portrayed some of the characters. Like, Kung Lao um cabal kano they were all so just spot on in terms of their fight styles their moves the way that they looked the way that they acted it was like the okay. characters were coming to life 100 yeah, percent. That, that was definitely cool i loved kano like he's my i boy stand already. kano <laughs> <laughs> you know i was i was totally like yeah i was here was here for kano for hell sure. yeah Okay, Molly, so do you want to give us like a summary about like what exactly your fight style is? Um, sure. Well, to be honest, I've never attempted to try to be a competitive player. Um, I'm more just into playing the game for the fun of it. And of course, I do commentary and create content. But mm -hmm. I've been trying to level up and actually take it a bit more seriously lately, especially with offlines will hopefully be back soon, and then I might like right. to compete some offline. So looking at things, for the most part, I'd say that I'm a pretty defensive player, and I do like zoning characters. So, you know, I'm, I'm the type of player that most Mortal Kombat players don't like at all. <laughs> I mean, that kind of, that's I, my style of play. I love it. I, I have to say, as a grappler main, I'm your you're supposed to be my mortal enemy. I can't like I have to <laughs> yeah, be you, right? Yeah. But we're yeah, gonna do our best to help the zone. <laughs> I know it's such a problem. Cool. Like I'm... when Cole Young comes out as DLC and he is a grappler with armor Ooh. and Cole Young command grab down one Cole into <laughs> right. Yeah. But um, yeah, we can we can work with that. I mean, I think uh. You know, zoning is it's harder than a lot of people make it seem or make it out to be. Um, trying to like, like control the space on the screen and like not corner yourself immediately and then get killed because yeah. you're stuck in a corner is like a really hard thing to do. It's really hard to know when to go and when to come out, when to take space and when to like and when not to throw projectiles and when not to do stuff because a lot of zoning is just sitting there and waiting for them to like overextend and punish them for it. It's not just like chucking projectiles yes. over and over, you know? Yes, I, I definitely, I mean, I, of course, have had plenty of experience with people hating on zoning oh, and hating me for zoning. So I definitely agree that people think it's a lot easier than it actually is and don't really understand what you're doing. Um, so I I try to spend a lot of time thinking about spacing and not just throwing out projectiles randomly, but I know I could always improve on that and it'd be yeah. good to, I think spacing is something that I want to really work on. Yeah, we, okay. can, we can look into that for sure. Um, did you have any other questions prepared, Penny? Sorry, I wasn't sure where to go from there. Oh no, you're fine. Um... Yeah, I don't know. So, um, I think it's, what was I going to say? Sorry. And what were your characters mostly at this point? Yeah. Um, so my I know you kind of play a lot of characters, right? But... Yeah. Uh, my main is definitely Scarlet, and then I play Jade as secondary. I play her quite a bit, too. Um, and then other than that, there's like a handful of characters that I've learned that I can play, and I'd like to improve on some of them. I'd like to get to play Melina and, and get to know her better, and I'd like to improve with uh, Cetrion, maybe Sindel. 
I've played a little bit of Kitana of Cassie, so there's like a variety. But the, <laughs> a whole the bunch of them. Are definitely Scarlet and Jade. Okay. So, yeah, we've done a lot of Jade so far, so. Yes. Let's. <laughs> Ladies love Jade. In this of community. course, of course. And yeah, if you love zoning, <laughs> like, Cetrion's definitely going to be a good pick for you, I would think. Yeah. yeah. That's, I, she seems like the perfect sort of character to play, so I really would like to learn her more and, and kind of get into her. I've played around with her some, but not really, you know, put any work into her. So I, I think it, she'd be the next good character for me to go with. Well, Fenny can show you some of that broke Cetrion stuff because she's been I really doing can. it all the time. <laughs> like, stressing me out over it so bad. So. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I've been getting into her recently, and she's pretty easy to pick up. Um, and like, she doesn't really need like a bunch of strings. You only need probably like three, <laughs> and all you need is wind yeah. and rock walls. <laughs> and you don't even need to like without the geyser. You don't even need to really focus on like learning combos because she doesn't right. have any. Exactly. She just restands after everything, and then. <laughs> Not yes. Good, Petron hate stream. I'm sorry. Go on. Or are we? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can tune into my stream every weekend for that. Okay. I have no problem with hating on my own characters, so you guys can feel free to hate on anyone I play, whatever you want. No. I would just find it entertaining. So. Like, look here. If someone, but don't let anyone hating on your character like discourage you from playing that character. Yes. Exactly. Um, exactly. Right. Yeah, always just, there's nothing wrong with playing top tier characters, even if people will call you carried, or they'll call you, like, a scrub for it, like, just, nothing wrong with it. Like, that's the best, if you want to play well and win, like, that's the best chance <laughs> you have to do it. Is, uh, calling you a spammer, uh, just just laugh and be like, yep, I spam, and I sure do! Projectiles and exactly. That will get even more upset, but mm -hmm. you won't, you'll, that's how certain characters are supposed to play. And if you like playing that way, that's just how it is. They'll have to deal with it. Yep, don't hate the player, hate the game. I mean, I've seen True. Foxy, like, literally shoot, I don't even know how many rounds with Deadshot into top eight, so. <laughs> oh, no. Listen, listen. It I is what be, it is. <laughs> I used to be a full auto Jackie main, okay? And I oh. had no problems just shooting people if it worked. <laughs> Yes, like, that's how you got to do it. I mean, it's yeah. there for a reason. If they can't get by it, why am I going to do anything else? Like Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. That's the way you go. <laughs> so today, did you want to like kind of um, run games and like get feedback? Or did you want to maybe like start learning Cetrion or just sharpen um, up your other characters? Yeah, I was thinking maybe we could run a few games at first and you guys could do some feedback there and then and then i would i think it would be cool to practice some cetrion and then the last thing that i probably have to do that i really don't want to do but i really should is play against scorpion i mean <laughs> I, can, I can play a little scorpion my scorpion's not good or anything but i can make it i can do my best Oh god. Um, Scorpion, we can talk Scorpion about that while we're playing. My Achilles heel. <laughs> it's... Well, that's what mm. happens when you play a zoner in MK. The person just yeah. kind of picks you with Scorpion because they know that teleport is going to get by a lot of zoning. Um, but of course, it's always a risk. It's always just like it can be a reaction depending on what moves you're using. But a lot of times it's just like a guess, you know? So you have to kind of adjust to that. Yeah, that's true. You just you mess, you mess with your timing, and Scorpion is going to have a really hard time like knowing when to just like teleport because it's if you're timing on things like you're timing on doing moves doing projectiles um or whatever the case is or timing on backdashing things like that if that's not predictable it's harder for scorpion to really just go crazy right so. that makes sense but, but <laughs> <laughs> it's harder than yeah it's... i just get I one thing that happens to me is I just get tilted as soon as I see him. Like as soon as I see him. <laughs> uh, that's how I feel about Cetrion these days. But... A mood. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I feel about Cetrion these days. Okay, so I get it. Um, but you have to like, yes. you have to like yeah. put that out. Right? You have to process my scorpion rage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh, we can work on the scorpion rage. I mean, <laughs> that's his thing, right? Rage, it's just like his whole thing. Right. That is. So. True. That is. That's. He's learned. He learned to channel yeah. his rage, and so can you, Molly. Okay. Yes, the... I, I need to learn from him. 
learn from the person you hate the most, Hanzo Hosashi. Facts. Why is Hanzo? <laughs> Why is Hanzo, despite all of his crazy teleports, has some, some knowledge there? So do you want to um, make a Forever King and invite us? Oh, yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> How does Cabal express his feelings for his significant oh, I... other? <laughs> He's hooked on a feeling. <laughs> I, I, you know, I chose to ignore that, and you brought it up, and I have to think about it again. <laughs> Finny, thank you very much. For that. It's I great. Just, I wanted to just put that past me and not look at it, but. Here we are. <laughs> you know, she actually likes the pun, so. It's weird. Why? They're great because I'm like, there's so many. Like, wow. Like, he uh, really okay. has a big brain. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to be mean. I'm not going to be mean. I'm not going to be mean. Fine. I could be mean on my own stream to remiss, but it's not my stream. I'll be nice to him. <laughs> it's like, hmm. He really just wakes up in the morning, like, where's my notepad? I got another one for someone's <laughs> chat. <laughs> Yeah. Remember, I guess. Do you like do you like write down puns as you think of them? Like do you wake up in the night and go, hey, that's a great idea, and then like jot them down in a notebook or something? <laughs> oh my oh, god, oh, Molly. We spoke him into existence. <laughs> He's greeting. It's the right time. <laughs> well, hello. Hello. Um, hello, Hansa <laughs> Hasashi from the Shira Iri Ryu. Uh, thank you for everything you do for Earthrealm, okay? Mm -hmm. Right. No, no, nope. look at you. It's Except just teleporting. <laughs> Except teleporting. Yes. Except teleporting. She no Rai Rai you gang. <laughs> um, yeah, let's do this then. All right. Okay, yes. so we're, we're starting with just uh, running some games. Yeah. Do you want me to play Scorpion? Oh God! Uh, <laughs> maybe some of the matches. Uh, uh, okay, it's fine. You, can, I, I, will, you can I won't start with that. Okay, I'll take it. A... Whoever you want is fine with me. I mean, we're here for you. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'm gonna just start with Scarlet. Fright night. Start, start with whoever, whoever you please, Emmy. Okay, I'll do a little Baraka. Baraka. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about Baraka? Um, you know, I actually don't have a ton of experience in this matchup because if someone picks Baraka, I pretty much just automatically pick Jade. <laughs> so, Fair, honestly. I'm not yeah. quite sure how I feel okay. about this. Like I don't generally have any issues, like a ton of issues with him mm -hmm. when I'm, you know, playing Jade, which is probably not a shock. Mm -hmm. But that also means that I typically play mostly a lot of zoning and then just punishing against him, which I feel like would be a lot harder with Scarlet because obviously I can't avoid, avoid Baraka's zoning with her in the same way. Yeah, right, because. Why did I do that? <laughs> Sometimes it happens to me. I'm like, oh, grab her. And I'm like, wait, no, don't do that. <laughs> nope, nope. You're doing good at like round two fight. Um, coming in when you need to, and that was yeah. So a little bit hard to throw some of the slower projectiles when you, at jumping range because Baraka's are gonna jump at you, right? He has yeah. a stupid jump kick. That like lower one has a lot of recovery, so it's tough, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that like. 
to jump to avoid that. You can stop too. So can I can just neutral, neutral, neutral duck? Yeah, just neutral duck's a crushing blow, so just neutral duck. And then... Oh, get a okay. Blow. Mm. And, uh, it's a high command throw. It's another one of those things where... I feel like I don't see a lot of rockets that use that, which is weird to me. It's, it's good. Yeah, it's good, but it takes two slots, so you can't do a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, you did good. You didn't get cornered. You found always found ways out when you're getting close. That was good stuff. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. That was nice. I've been trying to work a lot on that, on a defensiveness and, and just trying to time like the right, like you said, the right time to come in. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like I definitely sometimes do better than that, <laughs> with that than other. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's, it's sometimes it's just dependent on the day or the character I'm playing against in, uh, but you know. Yeah. That's one of the things that I really want to just focus on because I think mm -hmm. with my own playstyle that that if I can really become strong in that way that that is one of the things that Sonya Blade. is the most beneficial to me. For sure. Scarlet. The only thing I really notice is that like you gotta look at the range of when they're in their, their, ju their jump in range. Mm -hmm. You probably know that the most predict the, the most obvious thing they want to do because you're just throwing stuff at them right you're doing these like longer range moves with slower recovery. They want to jump over those things and then like just get in right. Right. So once they kind of get into that range, maybe take a second to just like wait and see what they do. See if you can anti them. Mm -hmm. See if you can just like get away. It's, you know, sometimes you can backdash or jump in something like that, right. um, and then punish when they hit the ground. So like when okay. yeah, when you see them in that jump range, just try to take a second just to kind of see what they do. Um, yeah, that's good advice for me because I I Not get enough. hit by jump ins a lot. I'm not going <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> People will do the most obvious thing, right? Once they get into the jump range, they're going to jump at you. That's typically what they're going to do, especially if you're zoning them. Um, they want to get over that zone. Nice catch. Yeah, I always try to try to counter that with a low because it's a high. Right? So, um, if you see that coming at you and you want to counter hit it, just hit like down four, down three, down one. Depending on the character. This is grunt. She definitely just she was just sat there and waited for you to jump because she thought corner somebody and somebody's throwing projectiles or doing like a yeah. kind of longer range attack, like jumping is the obvious thing. So she's kind of waiting for you to do that thing. That's kind of the example of what we're talking about. Scarlet has a pretty good answer for jump ins with her stand one. Mm hmm. Sounds really good for firing. Finisher. That one you played solid. The only thing I would say is like just be careful with your backing up because like a character that's like hungry to get in, such as Sonya, they're pretty much gonna try to walk you down as much as possible and like once you're in the corner it'll be really hard yeah. for her to like get Sonya off of her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely uh <laughs> once I get trapped in the corner I'm like, oh shit, which is yeah, then, like scary. exactly what Emmy said that I, I jumped, which was predictable and you were ready for it because that was yeah. yeah. Thankfully Scarlet is like, you know, one of those characters Scarlet with a teleport so you have that as an option as well. 
Oh, no, other way around, other way around, other way around. <laughs> make make Cetrion like Scarlet, please. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go with that one, okay? Oh, Remus making more puns in the chat. I want to talk about that. Blood rain. Okay, nice skin choice. It's good. Yes. Thank you very much. It's always important. Round one. Mm -hmm. Fight! Ooh, okay. I didn't know we had this, uh, stamp back in there. Right? Nope. Oh, shit. Nope. Oh, oh, it was smart to get out of there, but then you had a dash. <laughs> that was actually really good. Uh, well, don't get out of there. I have the fireball, I have the low grab, and I have the death march. Oh, okay. Combos, mostly. So it's what you usually use except you add it in the... Yeah, the fireball is with the open hand. Okay. Oh, that you don't want to do the parry too, too much. Um, the best places for it, honestly, are probably in your uh, fall as possible gaps, if someone's really trying to fall as possible. Uh, but just, like, trying to go for it like that is just pretty good. If they jump at you, like, then you're gonna get full damage. It's the side switch. <laughs> yeah, it does mess you up sometimes, for sure. Yeah. I have to go dash the other way. <laughs> it like made her walk forward then backward instead of dashing. Sad yeah. face. It's like, okay, okay, dash back. No, I can't dash back anywhere. There's a corner. <laughs> <laughs> it's rough. It's hard. Um, yeah, but if you're a lot trouble of trouble with stomp, I can keep stomping until you get it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Eddie. I... <laughs> Remus, what? What is that? <laughs> Let's not talk about it. That's a What's great me? one. <laughs> Lady killer. Convict. Music. I don't think, like, um, with Scarlet, some of the riskier stuff at the parries, uh, you don't necessarily need to do super frequently. I'm sure it's going to work if the people are mashing a lot. What's when you start yeah. playing with, like better people that don't like that i think of... that's a lot of the thing too and um i practiced with bl a little while ago and mm -hmm. it was the same sort of thing i was i was talking to him about that some of the habits that i have are very much clearly developed from combat league yeah because like right. if you said a lot of people will just run right into that every time and just mm -hmm. mash it and then the other thing another thing that i tend to do I that i know is not good it. is that i wake up I up three a lot and way hands. too much Favorite. but that's another one of those things not like in combat like league i can do it twice in a row and then i'm like Round okay the next one. time i shouldn't wake up because they they'll be ready for that right they'll be ready but then they're not so then i'm like <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm not waking up where i'm like if i woke up i would have gotten it you're gonna get a lot of people in like combat league who just don't adjust, right? They don't adapt to anything. Um, and yeah, once you start playing people that are like really good, they adapt to things like really fast and they start to like pick up on your habits. Those habits are so focused on like 
if you're primarily playing with combat league, it might be tough to get out. Second hit's an overhead there. Thank you for being my brain while I play because sometimes it's hard for me to talk. Oh, you're and good. Play. It's hard, yeah, it is. The overheads are another one where, like, Scarlet's overhead it just doesn't give her a lot, so it's a risk that sometimes, depending yeah. on the situation, you might not need to take. Uh, but I mean, it's working sometimes, of course, but when it doesn't work, like, you're eating a lot more damage than when it. If you gotta work, like, three times in a row, you know? Um, yeah, the up three. Other projectile covered that situation. Nice time, though. Let's play. Round <laughs> two. Fight. That was a nice clip. Nope, nope, that was an error. And also, like, especially, like, if you're planning to play offline at some point, like, you're just not gonna do that overhead. It's gonna be red too every time you're playing. Um, yeah, it's like minus 20, right? That I, I like that. It's like minus 20, I think, right? I mean, it's super punishable, right? Really? So that, it's really not for me. Am I like, I don't know, I'm, I play risky, so maybe I shouldn't talk. But like, sometimes like, the risk isn't, or the reward has to be worth it, right? Um, yeah. I don't know if is really worth it too often. I mean, it's definitely not something that you'd never use, but uh, maybe using it too frequently is not good. That was something that, um, yeah, you gotta forward one. I was a little late, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not trying to, uh, you know, help you. <laughs> Not trying to give you lessons too, Fitty, but. <laughs> no, it's fine. I mean, his forward one is such a good punisher for everything. Because um, I heard her weaknesses, but like, that's a really strong punisher. Woo! Anti air with a ball. MKX anti air. <laughs> Final round. Okay. Fight. Hello, K1. Uh -huh. now you, gotta, you gotta watch out for her teleport, right? She hasn't done it yet, right? So it's okay that if you're already ready for it, but you always know that she's there. And then fall block gaps, yeah. Don't you? You use the tongue after the 4 4. Mm? What is that? Does that give you something? Using the, the blood tongue after the 4 4? Uh, it, well, you mean as opposed to using what? Just using 4 4, because it's plus 6. Right? Oh, um, well, for me, it just tends to push the opponent away, which is usually what I want. Okay, but yeah. So you're doing like a reset neutral thing? I mean, that's fine too. But if you're but like. In this matchup, it might actually not be good. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a good idea. It's a fine idea. I'm sure I've, I've never seen, it's not like I've never seen a Scarlet do that. I was just curious what, what your thoughts on it were. Um, you can also, if you're plus six, you can use that to back dash, right? That's pretty safe to do. Right. Well, super true. risky and just do like a fucking random ball roll or Molina something. Wins. But even then, you can cancel your back dash into like a block. If you're plus six, you have a huge advantage there. Um, but then you can also use that to come in if you want to, too. But if you're not trying to come in, then... Do you have a solid grasp on like frame data and whatnot? Um, I mean, I do. I don't have everything memorized, but I have a mm -hmm. basic understanding of it. That's okay, fine. That's I don't good. have everything memorized either. I have like some things, but like, I generally know like, don't press there or press there. <laughs> like, you don't have to right. know like, yeah. everything, you know? All right, I think it's time. Scorpion. <sighs> Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Here we go. Don't worry, my scorpion sucks. Okay. Time for the suffering. <laughs> this is suffering. <laughs> the hourglass. Oh, 
something that scorpions really want to do to you is they want to make you whiff moves and they want to whiff punish you uh, a lot of scarlet's moves are really good for avoiding that um i don't know the inputs for a lot of her moves but she has like the i think it's forward one so it's like a big like it's like her sweep's really good at that um, my family and clan. she has a, like a couple like long range like blood whip um, moves that are really good to like yeah back one forward two forward two long range whip forward two is good too but then there's another one that's like um that one that one's super that's good forward. oh <laughs> then stand two is another good one too <laughs> Just a scratch. Yeah, that was easy to react to, right? Once in the, I was in the air, you can just press it and just like... <laughs> Hello, Deadly Surge. Uh-oh, we got double trouble with the puns in the chat. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, you have to be careful for a spirit. You don't want to like, you know, from from full screen. If you neutral duck, you can't. There's nothing he can do from this distance. You're just neutral ducking, right? The spirit's gonna go over your head. That's teleport. It's gonna be, well, if you kept neutral ducking, the teleport would whiff. Um, so like that's. Yeah, you only have to worry about like if the Amplify is the teleport, because that becomes like a mid-hit, so you're pretty much free to just duck full screen and kind of like play the waiting game. The little footsies. I didn't punish well, but that was <laughs> the teleport overhead. Like if I actually hit a combo there, you would have lost for that overhead. So again, it's like a risk that like maybe you need to take. So when you're winning and the time is running out, you could have just kind of chilled, right? Um, I honestly thought I was not winning. So it's okay. Get the thing right. This reaction stagger. Good punish. Does it work? I don't know how to do that. Oh, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess you can't just go into that from that. I don't know. I feel I gotta like. Learn. I don't know. There's like a timing. I definitely I'm sure there's something. Do something. Yeah, like I mean, that. you did pretty good when I was close. I think from, from further away, sometimes you just want to. There are certain moves you probably just can't do. That slow, bud, the slow blood ball. Uh, yeah. I can just react to that with teleport. It's just something you can't do against them, right? That Especially if they're waiting for it. Um, the faster one you can probably do, but you have to be careful. Uh, the low mm -hmm. one you probably can't, and then like the tongue you can probably do, but you have to be careful. Um, so that's important. Sucks you don't want to like whip a bunch of big moves in his face, or he's going to teleport to you, uh, you as well. Um, right. And then some of the risks you just didn't need to take, like the overhead risk at the end, uh, that would have, you know, that would have got you killed. Um, I knew a combo. <laughs> Only an hour. But it just, yeah, you get it's super important, especially for zoning, and you're taking a long time. It's time running out and stuff. Like you want to look at the clock, look at the life lead, and adjust how you're playing based on that. Um, yeah, I definitely need to pay attention because mm -hmm. I thought that <laughs> I was losing and I had to get in and do something. <laughs> no, I get that, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, Jade. Jade. I let you win in the past. <laughs> Don't hold back. Mm, right? <laughs> Round one. Another Fight. mortal enemy of mine. Oh, that saved me. <laughs> <laughs> You can, um, 
If you're anti or without, you can convert into nitro kit. Okay, that was a good error. I mean... <laughs> down doing Zanya is not necessarily a bad idea. Oh no, I meant the parry. Oh, okay. I didn't mean the parry. <laughs> that happens sometimes. I think we the air glaives. Um, kind of keeping her... Sonya really wants to get drone off against you because it counters a lot of your zoning, but uh, you're doing a good job, like, mixing up your pressure and your zoning. Oh, the attack? Yeah, that was, that was clutch. Good trade. Good trade, yep. Yeah. that trade for sure. Pathetic effort. Remus, Round good night, two. Remus. Fight. Remus said he's a grandpa, so we have to go to school. <laughs> All right, good good night, night, Remus. Remus. Thanks for joining us. That one interruption. Uh, the, the down two is pretty good there. Uh, unless you super read it and just neutral duck. Like, Ooh, duck. nice. <laughs> that would have got it off you, but yeah. <laughs> I had to go full jade at the end there. I mean, that's <laughs> how you jade, right? But now you gotta win this round, so. <laughs> Watch out for the drone drop. All right, she's gonna wanna use that. And you can take a trade for it again, so that'd be good. Ooh, nice that was a good play. reaction. That's yes, queen. Nice. See, see, this is why people find my playstyle so annoying, and I get it. Like, can you just imagine if this was me playing against Baylina right now? She would not She'd be screaming. No, she doesn't enjoy this kind of playstyle. You know, that's okay. But yes, but that's me. That's my playstyle. And that's good. great though, because you want your opponent to be annoyed, because then they start doing yeah. random shit. So. Oh my god, if they if they hate the way you play, then you're doing something right, okay? Trust me. Exactly. All those scorpions must be really, right, well. really doing a great job out there. Toasty. <laughs> Let's try it again. Oh, here we go, here we go. Death Thank clock. you, Dudley. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah, always check on like the life. So there's situations where Scorpion might be like full screen from you, but if you're winning, you don't have to do anything. You just have to duck. You just need to neutral duck and let him try it. Like, yeah, make him come to you. And then when you get to a certain range, you can start like maybe being a little more active. I know what it if he's is, just sitting full screen and you're winning, like just eat. Do Round nothing. one. Fight! <laughs> Oh, shit. I did not punish there. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to necessarily always go for down ones, especially with Scorpion, because he wants to backdash and just do that against you. Yeah. Now you're winning, right? You don't have, you don't have to do that. <laughs> you just want to kind of... Yep, you can jump back, right? But you don't want to do anything you don't have to do. There you go, see, wait for nice me to whip something. And, yeah, yeah so you had to be super patient. I had to, do, I had to do the work to get in. You didn't have to do anything, right? Uh, just remember the situation. Fair for it. Exactly. Once you get life lead, be as lame as possible. Yeah, another another big wish punish there. Nice shadow kick. Oh, 
When you do amplified air glaives that close, it's like super plus, so you could have done mm -hmm. like anything and she would have had to hold it. Yep, for sure. I, I blocked that right next to you, it's like plus a million. You might as well just assume it's plus a million. I don't know how plus it is, but... <laughs> yeah, I've yet it's to see anything beat it. <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah. See, those things with a long startup, you just don't want to do as much against Scorpion, right? Because if I just jump and I see you do something with that startup, I'm just going to press teleport, right? <laughs> Hello, AJ. Down four is probably better off than the down one. Like, yeah, see how that worked there for you with the down four? Um, because your down four is stupid good range. It's really quick. It'll beat a lot of his like stagger back dash pressure. Um, so that was a good option. Of course, we can play some time deadly surge. And don't worry, I'm not annoyed at the down twos. I'm a jade main myself a little bit, so... You know, in this situation, like, I don't have to do anything. <laughs> now you have to come to me. Seems like you got a little frustrated there at the end, right? And maybe you were doing a oh, little yeah. more than you should have. Started, started being more YOLO. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It happens. It, happens. Sure. <laughs> it, See, it does happen. The thing that I have to learn to try to get past is that I usually can make myself play pretty patient, mm -hmm. but then I start getting pissed off, and then I start yeah. like doing stupid shit. There's certain things like you have to accept, right? If you're playing a scorpion, you're going to get teleported. Somebody's, they're going to hit a teleport on you randomly, and you're going to get annoyed. But you have to accept that's just part of the matchup. That's going to happen, right? If you play a random, like a sub zero, you probably accept that he's going to do a random slide against you, and you just have to hold that, right? Like that. Um, the idea is like it's going to happen, but you want to just like not necessarily change how you play because of it. You don't want to like try to trade blow for blow with that shit and do random you stuff yourself storms, because you're not going to win that fight. Jade's not going to yeah. win that fight. Right. Scorpion's, Scorpion's going to win that fight against Jade every time if you're doing random shit back and forth. Um, and that's just important to keep playing your game. Um, so we're avoiding things with long startup, um, especially if they're at a distance where they can just react and teleport. Um, yeah, that's not you did pretty good. The down four is super good against his staggers, like you said, like I showed you there. Um, the down one is a little more risky, just because he can backdash and punish a lot of it with his back one. Once the Empress, always the What do you both think with Jade in that matchup? Like, should I mostly try to utilize besides I use the, like, like we were talking about, the down four? But, um, would I also want to just, like, stick with that and, like, the things into the and the back 343 three, but try to avoid most of her other things. I mean, what do you think, Penny? You play Jade more than I do. So. Um, so with Scorpion, you can fight him up close, but like once you get the life lead, you kind of want to just like lame him out because all he can really do is like try to do YOLO things to open you up. Uh, everything he has is a low except for that random like overhead flip that he has. So yeah, he can't really like open you up with like anything big unless you're not blocking low. And it's also like you don't have to react to every stagger. Sometimes you can just keep holding block. Yeah. Um, you don't necessarily if you see that they're like stack, especially with Scorpion, like, he's trying to like a lot of times trying to catch you with a late reaction like to a stagger, or he's trying to backdash and like with punish you with a stagger. You don't have to try to press on everyone. You can just hold block and let him do. Like say he does like two ones, which is plus, right? And he then just backdash into back one four. That back one four is uh, punishable. Yeah, and then if he does back one four three, then it's like negative seven or something. So it's super negative, right? Um, so now it's definitely your turn, right? So you could just wait a little bit longer. Um, you don't necessarily have to react to every stacker uh, that you can that you can react to. Sometimes it's better just hold block. And uh, yeah. 
make them make them have to take the risk of throwing you a lot. Yes. But yeah, sorry, we're still talking about the last matchup. You've been playing the other oh, matchup for so long. No, you're fine. And it's good. That's my. Always need the scorpion tip. Mm -hmm. Hello, Jimmy Boy. Something I try to do, like it's a general defense rule, is I don't try to read throws until they actually throw me. I'm like, make, cause some people just don't even wanna, like, they wanna just go to level two and start, like, with fun and start, like, counter hitting you. But if they had never even did level one, which is, like, the throw in the first place, why give them level two, you know? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, it's like levels to mix up, right? So, the first one is they have to, like, do a throw in the first place. They just don't even do that when I give them the next level by pressing on their frames and they look like they could be throwing. Oh god, you hear cats growling in the background. Mm -hmm. Aw, oh, cute. Your cat's right here. Hey, baby. Oh. Brother battle. Oh. Oh my god, the demon shit from <laughs> Finny. I don't know. <laughs> my first time using it. I mean, that's fine, yeah. If you, that's definitely like a thing where yeah. taking, a, taking a big risky move is it's like okay. surprise! Yeah, especially if you've waited till the end to do it, you know? <laughs> also, right, where like she was already up around, she had, I still had, she still had half her life bar, and I had sliver of life, so might just be worth taking the crazy risk at that point. Mm -hmm. I would generally say the opposite. Like, there's you don't have to take a big risk when they just yeah, have like one touch, so you can check them out even. Like, but again, if it's something that she's never done the whole round, then maybe it's not the worst idea. Let's do like one more, then we want to like learn some Tetrion stuff. Yeah, that's a good idea. I don't want to like play games for too long and then we don't have time for that so we want to do some of that so does that sound good Finny? is that sound about all right yep cool now i'm gonna do more scorpion stuff okay get ready <laughs> round one fight You can um nitro kick punish that in my distance. Like, it's great. Oh, I hate you with it, but if you blocked it. <laughs> See that? Again, you didn't, you didn't have to press there. Yeah. <laughs> you could have just, like, just held that, right? There we go. Nice. What did you press there when I was back in the I actually didn't press anything, but I let oh, you go just, of the block. You just want to have a block, yeah. Like it, <laughs> For sure. It's tough. No, you're not an idiot. It's, it's hard. And now I said down forward good, and now I'm counter hanging when you try to do it. But it's, it's just kind of a little bit better. Um, it's also not something, again, that you don't have to always go for, right? For sure. My cat is clawing at my legs. Hi. The cats are taking over this town of academy. Dude, they always do. Ooh, nice answer here. Like, committing to that big string when I'm at that range, it's just, it's just not good. Right? 
Oh, sure again. <laughs> Finisher. Um, this, this, this 2-1? Okay, I'll show you. Mm -hmm. 2-1 is plus, so the down 4 is not good. You don't want to press it against, like, anything at this point. This is plus. In fact, this is super good. So, like that, just right. So, like, let him do that. Let him do this, then go back and do this, and now you can press. Now it's your turn, right? After, after, like, this whole string, like, it's, yeah, it's your advantage. It's your turn to go home. Just so you know. Let's jump in. You're looking at the clock. You have five seconds left. Yep. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah, you're trying. Try. You did. You did what you could do. Um, but yeah, no, it's hard. It's hard in the situation. Um, yeah, I had the full. I had the full screen to work with. Um, yeah, it just did the. You have to like pay attention to the clock, right? It was just five seconds left. That you had to do something crazy to get in. Yeah. You had to rush your way in. You had to dash, 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 dash. Oh, scorpion. It was a tough situation anyway, but you could have tried to like hit a random fatal blow or something. <laughs> Do you have the um the pole pole in that or? I do not. I have uh the low spark, air glaive, and Delia's. Okay. All right, so we're doing some Cetrion, huh? Elder Diva. Indeed. Nature Ooh. girl. Hi, James. Hi. <laughs> I know. I really need attention. Oh no. Hi. <laughs> Like, um, why are you paying attention to this controller oh. and this game and not me? I know, it's messed right. up. <laughs> okay, good, you have the broken variation. There's no reason to use any other three moves yeah. in those three moves, so, perfect. Thank you for the follow, Sar. Hello, broken. Hello, Blaze. Balancing the realms is mother's will. Leave that work. We can always go into online artists. training mode if it's better, too. Taven and Dagon know, had their chance. Round one. What you guys thought Fight. to do in this situation? I don't know, we could figure it out, but yeah. Yeah, I just kind of want to like play a match first to see how it goes. Oh yeah, see where she's at. Makes sense. I'm assuming you got ground pound win. Yeah, no, I checked the move. She had the broken screen. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you mean to teleport in front? Nope. <laughs> You pretty much want to end like any little stagger you do into wind because they can only really do something about wind if you um do end after this string the forward two they can like flawless block that but everything else pretty much is like pretty it's much just gonna free. give you the space you want yeah yeah <laughs> it's gonna put you at an like, advantage space game like you're a little bit negative in the situation but like it's you're not worrying about that because you have like use reset neutral, you're in a good position to kind of play your game. See so, like this is exactly what set you on it. She puts you back like that because she just has the advantage of it. May you find peace. Round two. Fight. Imagine a sector on there is pretty weird, but I don't know how it goes. Kind of. I only played it like one time, so it's hard for me to like see if it's a good one. <laughs> Teleporting when they jump is a pretty good option. It just kind of gets you out of the corner. He's a corner there, so that was smart. Finisher. <laughs> the wind is like super plus. Oh. The amplified one, at least. Mm -hmm. Um, the yeah. yeah, the regular one I want to say is like only plus one, but like in the case of like both of us mashing right after, I'm gonna win most likely. Mm -hmm. If you mash really hard and believe, plus frames don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, it's not true at all, isn't it? <laughs> 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 you believe. You believe. 
you for any math super, super hard. According to NetherRealm, block can get you nowhere, so... That's true, they did post that in their <laughs> game. Multiple they games, did though. Say that. <sighs> okay, let's do a little training mode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the block can get you nowhere was a hint to, you know, fight Reptile at MK1, but I think some people took that shit real seriously, and... <laughs> They definitely Hi, did. Sar is, um, she's really cool. I rated her and she's just really sweet and she's um, an MK player from Japan. She's gonna be competing yes. in that tournament that we're doing. Ooh, I actually nice. played a few games with her and the connection was a lot better than I thought it was going to be Oh, from Japan. did you do a little test of it? Yeah, we did a little ping test and it was pretty good. I was surprised. Awesome. Cool. We Can't are wait, blessed with our net code. <laughs> <laughs> blessed. Honestly, imagine. we really are. <laughs> oh my god, when I played Street Fighter 4, I couldn't even play somebody from California. Never mind, like. Oh lord. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. Street Fighter 5 is so bad. Street Fighter 5 is still bad, but it's a little better than Street Fighter 4 was for sure. Uh, you want to share play with me? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to find Molly's PSN, but I can't. This, is, this happens all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remind me. Yeah. It's. Yeah, it's Molly Amberby. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. So I, can... I think there's somebody else that has Molly B, so. Yeah, okay, I see it now, because I'm <laughs> like, what's going on here? All right. Benny Ma. <laughs> <laughs> I love that name. Like, like, he changed it at some point. It used to be, like, I don't know, something else. But I just like seeing Finny Ma with that drawing. It's so cute. Thank you. Yeah, Belina snapped on all the emotes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Share play for you. Mm-hmm. Do you have any questions so far? Um I think in terms of of Cetrion, I'm just trying to, I don't know, figure out the best way to kind of space her out and and when I would actually want to come in and do those sorts of staggers you were talking about. Um, okay. Yeah. Bad. All right. I'll I pick would her as well. say generally, like, and I'm not Cetrion player by any means, but just in the play times when I do play Cetrion players, I generally don't want to come in, but. Mm -hmm. If you get in on like if your opponent gets in on you, then they can they can just turn it around to one one and two deadly wins and to pressure you and they can pressure you really good. Um but I think they generally don't typically come in very often. Do you kind of agree with that or pretty much. Like they'll like be on you if they have to, because she has the option to do that with her. She can do that. But... She's super good at yeah. the pressure, right? So Yeah. Okay, so first off, um, I think one of the most important things is her stand one. Uh, that's so multi-purpose. Like, it's anti-air, it's footsie tool, because it has, like, dumb priority for some reason, and it reaches pretty far for a standing hit. Usually they don't, like, reach this far. Here, let me jump at you. And you can convert off of it as well. <laughs> you never deal with the wake up stuff in this game. Like one and one one into wind is like your typical like I'm gonna knock you out the air and convert. Do you wanna try a finny jump at you and Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Just you kinda just wanna one, throw one, one. one yeah, yeah, just one and like if it hits, then you wanna follow up with the one one after that. Well that was not right. <laughs> you're good, you're good. There you go. Just press it. But that just works. once. Yeah, but Don't do the whole string. Once. Just press stand one. And then when you see stand one hit, that's when you want to do like one one into wind. So I'm going to try jumping at you again. Yeah. Almost. 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 Yeah, you, you got the idea. Alright, that's the wrong thing. This is an issue that I just generally have. Um, and I, I kind of talked to Abby about this before, is that I 
just sometimes have execution errors in general, just mechanically. Like, I don't know, Miguel was telling me I hold the controller wrong. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if there's a wrong way. People have different yeah. people play, Some people play claw hands, some people play like weird and like yeah. use well, analog sticks. Like, there's different. To do with, like, how I position my thumbs, because I have really long nails on my thumbs. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's like further down on like the knuckle part of my thumb, I end up using a lot more. But then that can lead to me like like when I'm trying to do this and I accidentally get a, a like rock at the end because it ends up reading it as a two instead of as a four. Actually, so what are your controller you settings? Yeah, okay, that, that sounds like um, negative edge right now, but yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so, let me... Like, I definitely have, want to um, at least check off. At least check off, okay. Okay, we, we gotta go back to character select to see, I think, yeah. so I'm gonna do that real quick. Mm -hmm. I don't know, just the way you said that, the way it came out, like it sounded like release check, right. but if you have it off, then that's good, honestly. I definitely um, think it's a me thing, like a my favorite okay. thing. Okay, let me know what I, you I have. Really I think it. it's... Wait, what am I doing here? How do I... Hit triangle. So, hit triangle and then go to right. um, controls. And what do you have yeah. ticked? I have a medium, then crushing blow held check, then these two are off and these two are on. So off, off, on, on. Do you have button shortcuts on and then put control? Do or push. I have that off? Button no, it's fine. That's just so you can do like L1 for throw instead of, or you can do like, sorry, you can do one and three for throw oh, instead of L1. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wait, but that's the thing that makes the interactables happen. Yes. <laughs> so if you, so if you always <laughs> use your, if yeah. you never, if you never press like two buttons at the same time, then maybe take that off. Like if you never yeah. if you use like, um, one and three for throw, or I think like, one and two is interactable, which is why that happens sometimes when you press one one two fast. Right. Did you get a chance to turn it off right there? Because um, I know I it like forced us so, into it. I can I can do it later. It's not yeah. Like, it's the interactables. This so it's not. Yeah, like that's an annoying thing right that happens now. for sure. I still have mine on because I'm so used to doing like throw with one and three because I play Street Fighter a lot. Right. Um, that's the only way you can throw in that game, so it just became like stuck in my brain. But mm -hmm. I should turn it off at some point. Getting those on like accidental interactables is so annoying it really is <laughs> but yeah go on and so you're talking about like so you have a hard time maybe pressing two buttons at once is that kind of the idea um, i don't know it's like so if i'm trying to do one one and two like that mm -hmm. i'm looking at my hand and my thumb is pressing the circle but this is obviously like that's that's not what's coming out See, you see what I'm saying? Like, I see my thumb pressing the circle, but that's not what's coming okay. out. Okay. I, I think I see what's happening here, actually. Um, okay. So, I don't know if you do it this way, but what I usually do is I press, like, the strings, like, fast, and then, like, yeah. I can, like, kind of take my time and press, like, back, forward, four because I'm just, like, mashing square twice, and then I'm already pressing, like, back, forward, four before like she's even done with the animation like i'm already like, so, like inputting it early yeah, yeah. one one really fast and then there's kind of like a little yeah, you have a little more time to like kind of like input your special move do the back forward for. mm -hmm. this yeah. is what mk is known for it's like you can mm -hmm. dial these strings in early you can just press them you can press the full input of the string like fast and then the animation is still gonna happen even though you yeah, stop pressing what possibly happens like i so i should wait until the whole string is out no you shouldn't you can just do it you can input the whole thing like right away even before the, the string is over yep. basically there you go yep hold on my cat's trying to get out one second you're, you're fine back. go ahead but yeah basically like inputting them faster helps a lot because like if you try to just time it when she's done with that you're gonna end up getting like the stand four instead because the string is just so close like if you're gonna go for wind which is like back forward four right yeah there you go you're getting it a lot so yeah kind of like you want to kind of be like speedy gonzalez with the buttons like and you can do that with any string like try the forward two three Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that got to me. Yeah. 
Yeah. You don't even have yeah, to wait, just like immediately. Like, you you know what you're pressing, you're confident in what you're pressing, you know you're gonna cancel. That one didn't cancel because I didn't hit you, but yeah. You're doing, you got it, you're getting it like every time. Well, yeah, mostly right. every time. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. You go. <laughs> so yeah, yeah apply that to like pretty much every time you want to cancel like any string into a special move you can just press it quick Ooh, that's okay do you do mm -hmm. that a lot though yeah. i don't <laughs> i was just like kind of like using an example i guess that was a bad one but like <laughs> yeah there be tricky. So there's a lot of things though. So you said like for anti-airing you do a lot of one one into I mean I could do that, but a lot of one one into that. But yeah, then... for anti-airing stand one and then like it's kind of like a matter of you getting used to this hitting and then you can do one one to like catch them again. Mm -hmm. It's like a conversion. Yeah. To like jump at me. Near... Okay. Uh, Alright. Jump okay. jump at her. Like this. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of, well, like, I guess a lot in fighting game terms to yeah. see, like, you have, like, a lot of time to see, like, this hit them in the air because they get bounced up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then you could just repeat it again. A lot of the time, you don't even have to, like, dash up or anything because it reaches so far. Like, you see even that, like, hit you yeah. and yeah. I didn't move at all. Way farther than I would have thought. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we all thought that, too, when we saw it. Don't worry. Like, when I say it reaches far, it reaches far. Like, I'm not even moving. I'm just pressing 1, 1, 1, <laughs> and then canceling into win, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why is your backdash so good? What yeah, it's backdash? crazy. That's yeah, another that's thing that's gonna help you out, like, against the Shiva matchup. Sorry, I mean... <laughs> um, this dash goes so far, so fast, that, like, you can just dash... And then, like, just 1-1 one, one punish Shiva. Like, 1-1 one, one is gonna be a punish for a lot of yeah. things. Because yeah, exactly. You're one one, so it's good range. Like, even if like you're not super quick on the reaction to stop, the one one's probably still gonna catch. Yep. So I'm gonna try to jump at you, and you can try it out yourself. See how you're comfortable. Yeah. Don't don't stress it. You know you're learning it. Look, there you yeah, go. Yeah, there you go. That it's that timing. easy. To... Yep. Okay. Pretty much. Remember what I told you about the cancel. That still works, but you know, like obviously you want like the wind to kind of restand them. So, okay, you know what I think is part of the problem? It's me mm -hmm. doing the back forward is what I'm not doing right to get it to come out properly. Like that's what I'm not timing exactly. Are you? you know what I mean? Well, let's see your inputs. Try it again. Yeah. Let me see. Well, that time. Well, you got, got it that time. <laughs> There you go. So you're doing, you're doing a half circle more than you're doing a back forward. Yeah. That does work with input shortcuts, but like if you want to be like more precise, you're gonna have to like train yourself to just only press the back and forward. Yeah, the back forward. And it's gonna feel weird because I also used to slide my fingers just like that, but like I yep. trained myself to like kind of like be more precise so I could like have less mm -hmm. input errors. So. Simplicity is your friend with Setrion. Listen, I used to I used to hate back forward inputs. Yeah, for sure. I used to hate back forward inputs too. I honestly I would like shy away from characters I had a lot of them because they annoyed me. Um so like it's real, right? But it's it's just like a timing. It's like you wanna especially with the PlayStation 4 controller where the D patch from buttons, you just wanna like rhythm it. One, two, like you press left, right, button, left, right, button, left, right, button. You know what I'm thinking of? So I was just getting this to work more right now, and mm -hmm. what I'm trying, what I'm doing is I'm holding forward while I press forward. So like I keep my finger up, and that makes me press down harder on it. I don't know if that maybe is gonna. Help yeah, that's me. a real thing. Yeah. Okay. Especially like you know you're gonna be like moving around and whatnot. So like if you wanna like. It makes me like not slide it as much. Also. Yeah. Same thing with like going back. Sometimes like I just hold back if it's like the last thing I pressed. Right. Alright, alright, alright. There you yeah. go. Look at that. Hold up. Molly with the anti air converties. And that works Ooh. too. Yeah. <laughs> go for it. Yep. Perfect. Wind is gonna be your best friend just because it gives you so much advantage, like 
they're like at the perfect range after the wind to where you can like get a forward two in. Mm -hmm. Or just do rock wall or just do. Yep, like, there's a lot of things. If you want to do, you have options. You could do another stand one if you think they're going to jump out of the wind. Like, you're like in the ballpark pretty much. Like, You just gotta be careful of, like pressing too much things, right? You yeah. wanna like, like you you can. It's okay to like. I guess like you have to learn the timings of things and just practice them until like the timing becomes like second nature. Um. Yeah. Because... There you go. Perfect. Yeah. The main thing is just like pressing the whole thing fast. Like what can also help you is like just straight up pressing back and then forward four at the same time, instead of doing like back forward and then four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. That that's like kind of like a little shortcut. Yes. Okay, you got it. Yeah, there okay. you go. Look at you getting it. Ten out of ten. Let's go. Sorry, <laughs> I kind of jumped from far right there. No, like I... this a bit too far. Yeah. <laughs> but too far for one one. Who would have thought? I know, right? Oh, even that super low one, it still worked. Even like behind the head works, which is pretty awesome. Like if I'm trying to like cross up. <laughs> behind the head. Look at that. <laughs> like what she's she's that? literally Fujin's yeah. mom. Like. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah, you cannot right. touch her with this. Like, I was playing King last night, like, my first time playing him at my Cetrion. And even his jump kicks were, like, getting beat by her stand one. He's like, what mm -hmm. the hell? And I'm like, just don't jump, bro. Just don't jump. <laughs> it's that it's simple. Okay. No can make us not jump, okay? <laughs> just don't Same. jump against Cetrion. Like, once they start fearing this, it opens up a whole another game. Like, you like, get more grounded pressure because they're scared to jump at you and like even if you're plus and you go for a 1-1 to like kind of try to jail them if they happen to be jumping they're gonna get hit out the air so it covers like two things be careful about pressing everything too number fast. one at first yeah don't worry okay. not fast enough and other times i press it too fast you just want to try to make sure that only the inputs you need are actually coming out, right? right. Um, which is hard sometimes, right? Because you're, you're, you're trying to like force your brain to remember all this stuff like a super quick fashion, right? Once they jump at you, you have to like program your brain to like do this input. But yeah, um, you don't want to do like extra inputs if you can avoid it. Nice. There you go. Nice. Yes, ma'am. Look how low that Ooh. is. Like, it's so... Oh, look at I know, right? <laughs> that works, too. She can do literally anything. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh. It's alright. It's a little bit too far for that one. Got it. That one's just like weird corner positioning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on certain ranges you might have to do a little micro dash, but typically you don't need to. So yeah, it's like you mostly like have to do the micro dash if like they jump from like here, because that actually will hit them. I'm pretty sure. It, yeah, because like... if it's gonna if you anti from a distance where they're jumping, wouldn't even hit you anyway. Then might do a <laughs> micro dash. Yeah, like uh, like don't micro dash at first, like. Just stand yeah, one. You'll... Just, just be like. Hey. Yeah. So like, I'm gonna like jump at you from like quarterish screen, and like you just stand one. You see how far away <laughs> that hits? Like, if I'm trying to jump kick oh, out of nowhere, God. like that is you can just be like, get out my air. Whiffed anyway, and that just stands, but you can still anti air. So. Yep. That's disgusting. So that if is... someone jumps from this far, hypothetically, <laughs> um, like you jump at me, and I'll show you. 
that's when you like yeah, micro dash really up dash. after like the first one dash and then like you do the same conversion with the one one into wind it's something that you probably pick up a little more the more you play her you'll start to see the distances where you have to dash and the distance where you don't have to dash yeah that one's yeah. like harder I feel like that probably is something like with a lot of just more practice and time yeah i know like with sure. scarlet that's definitely been something that's happened to me is i've kind of learned the spacing a lot more yeah exactly mm -hmm. like i just wanted sure. you to see it so like you're kind of like aware of how yeah, crazy her stand one is <laughs> like that's it's that's wild. Disgusting. That's <laughs> which is beautiful. If mm -hmm. you're playing her. Yeah. If you're playing her, yeah. She's a very privileged one, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Grinch. <laughs> um, another thing very useful for her up close game, um, her mix ups. So like typically, you know, this one ends in mm -hmm. overhead. It's her two, one, three. I almost said that backwards for some reason. <laughs> Um, and also this string, which is like her main like footsie string, you know, the forward two, three, four. Um, right. Both of these second hits are lows. I mean, I'm sorry. The, the, this second hit is a low and like the third hit's an overhead. And this third hit is an overhead. So what you can do is do the first two hits mm -hmm. and then do her ground pound instead mm -hmm. to like throw them off. Same thing applies. And um, if they happen to like start blocking that, yeah, exactly. You could do like either one. Okay, down, down go. three is the ground pound. Down, down three. Oh. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Well, I wonder. Like, I'd probably just want to make sure that actually hits, because if I just did this like way up in the face, I would probably get destroyed. So the yeah. next one's gonna go over that, right? With the cancel? Is that where you're gonna go to next? I exactly. think I feel like that's where you're going next, so. Yeah, I am. <laughs> so like, yeah, so far as like seeing these like be hit or be blocked is another thing. Um, you know, if like they block that, then like that's your chance to like go in and like, okay, I'm gonna do low, or you might be like, oh, okay, I'm gonna do overhead this time. Both options are punishable, so be careful. Except for in this string, I think uh, the overhead's safe and only the ground pound is punishable. So, when they start blocking this, like for example, like go ahead and hold down block for me. Block? Yeah. So, they're gonna start blocking this and like trying to punish you. That's when you wanna kinda like go in and. Oh, I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, you hold up for the cancel. Okay, so the cancel makes her safe. So you get like a free kind of like 50-50 and if it goes wrong, you're like kind of safe and bailed out. Um, you do that by, you do the ground pound and you hold up and then like you could just block immediately if you feel like they're gonna like respond. Okay. So do you hold up like at the same time as you're pressing X or? Um, what I do is I just press like down, down, X really fast and like I'm holding up the whole time and once I see like the flash of her cancel it then I like kind of hold block from there if that makes sense yep. you can just like try canceling it for now like by itself see if you like kind of get it it is a weird cancel it took me like some getting used to yeah I don't like what I don't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you you're just holding up on d-pad yep like that there you got it there it is yeah, there exactly. Yep. Yeah. Pressing that. This is also important in like certain matchups where they can punish the earthquake from full distance, even. Um, like say Scorpion can jump and teleport on it. You can cancel it and make that teleport punishable. You, know, you can block it in time. Exactly. Um, or if so, you're yeah. fighting like a Jade and like. You do ground pound, you're like, oh no, they're gonna punish me. Then you're like, ha, ah, yeah, right. And you like cancel it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then they just did shadow kick and you blocked it. And now you can like punish with anything. Yep, pretty much. Um, you need the meter to cancel it though. So you're. To... Yeah, it takes defensive meter. So that's why you're. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, so you needed one defensive meter to cancel uh, the earthquake. And then your biggest like. 
most useful other thing is probably this, right? Rock wall. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Great anti zone tool and like just good in general. Like if you think like let's say like you like were applying pressure and like you think pressure is like it's good and like you do wind and like let's say like they're about at this distance and you feel like they're gonna throw a projectile, you can just do this for the most part. <laughs> I generally do the far distance one, right? Um, or do you not do the far distance one for that? Um, it depends. If, like, a projectile travels pretty fast, I like to do the close one. But if I'm, like, fishing for the crushing blow and, like, I feel like they're gonna dash up, potentially, then I do the far one. All these rocks. <laughs> <laughs> YOLA! <laughs> and it hits deceivingly far, too, like... Yeah. yeah. And it has a lot of active frames, meaning that it hits for a lot of the active, the duration of the move. Um, so you can kind of just like, you can do it and you can like walk into it while it's still active. Because it's active for a long time. Not that long, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that. It, it kind of lingers for a second. Mm -hmm. It lingers up there. Um, it's also like, what, nine frames? So it's like her, basically her fastest mid at this point. It's like what you're going to use in... A lot of situations where people might be mashing from close distance, that can really take out um, better than anything else you can do. Except maybe her down four, I think it is, is really good too, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's low profiles. Down four is like super important. Low profiles reaches deceptively far. It's kind of like Jade's down four, pretty much. Right, so I, just, I just be Jade here. Yes, you be Jade yeah. here. <laughs> that helped me a lot, like, learning her. Mm -hmm. And cause... just like with Jade can cancel down four into Delia's, you can do down four with Deadly Winds and not let them press back after it if they block it. Yes, oh, ma'am. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Good night, um... Deadly Surge. But yeah, it's the can... same mind game, like... And you can do that on block too and just reset neutral. Right, so. And it pushes them back far, but it yep. also pushes them back at a convenient distance where forward two will like be blocks or like they're gonna have to jump out of it. But it's kind of like a mind game because um if you're like at this distance, they're thinking like, okay, I can either jump or I can like kind of back up, back off, or I can like try to like oppress her. And the good thing about her stand one is it covers jump and it covers them walking in. So, like, let's say, like, I do wind or block it, actually. Like, let's say I do, like, one, one wind. And, like, you, like, jump forward, that's going to hit you. Or if you walk forward, that's going to hit you. But if I, like, think you're, like, just going to, like, stay there and, like, kind of respect this, then, like, you just kind of loop the mind game and you can do it all over again. So she's kind of button heavy, but like it's also simple at the same time. Like you don't have to like mm -hmm. simplicity is gonna be your friend with Cetrion. Like anti airs one one one, you know, <laughs> spacing one 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 forward two three. The only thing that's like I guess complex about her is like doing the mix cancels, but even that like once you get used to it is pretty easy I would say. I would say you probably don't even need to mix, you know, that's like, like, if you're not hitting them, if they're like being super respectful and you're just not getting the hits you need, then maybe go for it. But I feel like you can probably win a lot of games just by spacing them out and doing one, one deadly wins and kind of going from there. Exactly. Screen control yeah. is going to be your best friend. Like mix is like just because she has it type of thing. Yeah, for sure. Like, <laughs> like, it's kind of like she just has everything. And like, if they're in your face and you just feel like okay i just want to like get at least one hit in and like back up again like that's kind of what it's for okay do you feel like you kind of understand like her pressure game a little bit like do you do you want to go through like some uh, yeah. of the i mean definitely more than i did previously <laughs> <laughs> um yeah because in like in the past any times that i was using her i was mostly just trying to focus on zoning as much as possible and, uh, yeah typically and like people are course. yeah people are gonna get in on you um with cetrion like your zoning is good but it's not like a zoning yeah. that you're gonna do the whole game people are gonna get in um so you have to kind of learn like the up close pressure too because she has super good up close pressure um so yeah yep yep 
Um, I think that's about it. Um, there's probably like just one more thing about her that's pretty good. It's like her micro dash and the buttons. Like, usually people like after wind or whatever. Maybe even like if you're just staggering stand one, they might try to like poke you back. And that's when you can take your time to like kind of micro back dash into forward two. I get that input error a lot. <laughs> micro dash into forward two or like micro dash into stand one because they both go like pretty far and can catch people like trying to hit back or poke back. Forward two especially since it's a mid. Like the scorpion with a little dash back and... Yep. Yeah, it's exactly that, but better. <laughs> oh, better! Oh, oh god. Rip, Scorpion. Because, like, sometimes Cetrion, like, her forward two, since she's, like, turning her body... I feel like it just makes people things away from they're not supposed to, right? Am yeah. Am I crazy in that? No, you're not crazy. It definitely low crushes. And it makes no sense, because she's not jumping. <laughs> but it's just, like, her turning her body makes you whiff. It's, like, a weird low crush. Yeah, I feel like my moves go through her sometimes, and I'm like, am I, am I crazy? Am I no, she definitely has a lot of, what do you call it, like, priority? <laughs> On yeah, both her stand one and her forward two. Like, I don't know why her stand one is just literally see, like of the elder gods. What you guys were just doing with each other in that distance, you're both doing stand one where it would have hit, but neither of you are getting hit because the hurt box is so far back and the hit box is so far forward. You guys are both just doing that. Actually, you're just doing stand one and like at a distance where it would hit like other people. It wasn't hitting her because her hurt box is so far behind the hit box of the move. That a little it bit, truly yeah. is. Um, I get this input error a lot because it's back forward too. That's why I like to like use my micro back dash for stand one mostly. I only go for back two like every now and then. <laughs> just so I don't get that input error too much. But that's just yeah. me and how I press buttons. And it happens to me too. She just cancels back back, and then I try to do forward four, but her moves also back forward four, so the throw comes out, and it's annoying, so yeah. Same thing. Yes, ma'am. Um, um, another god button, just like Jade. God button, yeah, one one's another god, god button. button. Yep. <laughs> one one is your back one, down four is your down four. You can still play that Jade game. Um, <laughs> deadly wins is your deli is, and you can still pressure when to hit, and you know, reset neutral but she does it for free without meter which is like cool. yeah like really? look how far the non-amplify right. goes <laughs> all right so we can apply a lot of jade strategies here you really sure. can especially this this is like amplified that is just so good to throw out into the neutral because it travels fast it reaches to like the tippy top of the screen like and it's like about three-fourths screen so no matter where you're at, this Amplify is hitting you. And if you're in the air, you're hitting the ground. And it's like plus 10. So if I like randomly like hit this from like way over here, I can like dash up. And like now we're like neutral. Oh. Or I could even take the time to dash back and like keep playing that game and like throwing out these ground pounding. And then like when I see like you're dashing up, I could just be like, whoop. Sorry! <laughs> and kind of keep... Back up, back up, and yeah, take yeah. two more back dashes for free, no, you know? No, no. <laughs> you don't get in. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it kind of just depends on how you like to play Setra, and if you're, uh, like, zone heavy, if someone's mm -hmm. in your face, you're gonna kind of, like, ha-ha, wind, and then, like, back up. Back away. And, like, yeah, you can, like, get some of this going. Um, throwing the rock is good, especially, because it's kind of, like, gives her a plus frame on zoning, if that makes sense. Um, if they don't jump it, that is. Like, let's say they're, like, respecting you and blocking. Yeah, like, I'll you block your attack. You data to see how plus it is? It's hella plus. Yeah, actually, let me do that. I don't even know myself, but I know it's, like... Yeah, just to kind of give you an example. Oop, here we go. I'm, like, blind on the menu sometimes. <laughs> there you go. Okay, throw one. Okay. Yeah, plus 25. Yeah. <laughs> no big deal. Hey. No big deal. Yeah. Hey. So yeah, if they block this, it's your time to do ground pound. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a big strategy. They it's have just... to hold that too, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Like, There's nothing, there's no way out of that, yeah. Plus 25, like that's, you're stuck there. Yeah, so um, after that, if you see someone block that, 
free ground pound 100%. Even if they don't get hit by it, that's free chip damage. Then you could kind of like see where it's going, you know, depending on who you're playing. Like, let's say like you're playing like a Sub-Zero and you're scared of like his amplified ice ball. You're gonna kind of like right. try to be patient a little bit. But if you see they're like respecting and they're just letting you throw this out there without doing anything about it, definitely abuse it. Yeah. Um, if you see them zone back, ground pound, you know, it goes under projectiles, so timing this is gonna be, like, pretty vital. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's- that's your glow. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. That's what you need to deal with projectiles, like a... And um, of course there's this, if they're feeling froggy. Yeah. <laughs> Some people will definitely be jumping over the rocks as much as they can, um, because blocking them obviously puts you at that disadvantage, okay. so that's what that- that- um, that rock comes in. Um, mm -hmm. I saw that the top player is want to just fall as block the rocks instead of jumping over them right. because it neutralizes some of the advantage and it also no risk of getting crushing blowed by that, which hurts a lot. Exactly. Yeah, I think it's like three twenty or something. Yeah, it it hurts, hurts. And then you know there's this which goes like about three fourths ish screen at the very far distance. Which is also like another mind game, like let's say like, you know, someone throws a rock and now it's like your turn. If they try to dash up, they're gonna get hit by that and then they're back where they were. And then you can like take your time to do this again or just do a ground pound again. Mm -hmm. oh, Part of the reason why her zoning is so good. It's perfect for me. Yeah. She is. Love. Part of the reason why her zoning is so good is she has all these options. She can kind of mix you from full screen. And exactly. That sounds um. beautiful. <laughs> what I'm trying to do with Scarlet with the between the tongue and uh, mm -hmm. her various projectiles and then uh, boiling point. So. It's, it's like all idea. that but better. This way better. Like yeah. this is your boiling yeah. point. This is your tongue. <laughs> this is like all her like orbs that she like tosses out and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Like it's like the same concept but like you have like more oppressive like options behind them. Oh, see? I'm gonna have to, like, play a lot of Cetrion for the next few days and try all this stuff out. Because she seems, like, perfect! Do you want to play some games with Cetrion now and just kind of... Yeah, you can kind of feel her out. out. We can help Perfect. you out with things when you get in situations that you need to work on. We have about a half hour, so we can keep going. Yeah, we'll do that. sounds good. Alright, all right. Cool. set up the King of the Hill, we'll another, join you. Another yeah, another Forever King. Mm -mm. But yeah, like, I was one of those people that was like, eh, Cetrion, but like, honestly, after mm -hmm. like, actually like, playing her, she just, she feels like a more oppressive Jade to me, if that makes sense. Like, she has the same mind games, you know, with... Yeah, well, that sounds good to me. That yeah, exactly. <laughs> her deadly winds is Delia's dance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her well, air glaives are, well, you know, her lava projectile. Like it's it's pretty much the same thing except better buttons up close and more full screen options. Let's see. I'm gonna have to use that to uh explain to Lossy because she's been you guys know you've seen she's been playing some Cetrion. Yeah. And I keep trying to tell her to try out more Jade too, because Jade's really good in some of the matchups that she hates, but she's like, I don't know, I don't know if I want to try Jade, but she likes Cetrion, so maybe she'd actually <laughs> like Jade if she tried. I think she would for sure. They're like just yeah. so similar, it's hard not to like like one yeah. or the other for sure. type of thing. They're playing the same type of game, typically. Mm -hmm. Okay, alright, there go. Invites. All right, all right. Okay, I'm gonna start with playing Baraka, which is like a seven three for you, and then I'm gonna start playing Scorpion <laughs> and teleporting like crazy. So, <laughs> or I'll play Shiva and stomp like crazy. Mm. Easy on me on <laughs> Baraka, and then yeah, yeah Baraka has a real hard time getting an Cetrion, So let's see if you can get that zoning going against me. <laughs> all right. Okie dokie. But. Then it's it's scorpion time, okay? Scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. 
Scorpion's just like my one truly despised character. And the upsetting thing for me after watching the movie is that Lau was like my number two most despised character, but I liked him so much in the movie that now I can't hate him anymore. <laughs> I, lo I love Kung like, Lao's character. I feel like he's he was so perfect in the movie. Like, what the hell? I just think he's like, he's always been this like cocky, like he has like way too much yeah. confidence in himself kind of guy. Mm -hmm. I think it's like, I think it's funny. Yeah. See, I feel like there's there's like a but, fine line where sometimes in the game they've made him too cocky and then you just hate him. But I feel <laughs> like in the movie they had the right combination of him being like a cocky asshole, but also just actually being like, you know, serious about the tournament. Like he's not just seeming like he's he's this way because he loves himself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. He's like cocky for the sake of Earthrealm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> But um, now, I, now I, I would not hate playing against it because all Kung Lao people are maniacs, and it's been like that for three games off. now. It's not just one game. <laughs> Kung Lao people have always been the way they are since MK9 and MK10. And That's MK11 facts. And all... <laughs> They've just been. I don't know why. Something Kung Lao and me, like... Coke lines. <laughs> <laughs> Something about playing that character makes you want to do the craziest shit. I don't know why, but best of the Shaolin. <laughs> I am Johnny's. Oh, the Shaolin. For the Shaolin. Right. So I used to play MK9 and Kung Lao. He was my main. Because he was Aww. so easy to use and broken. Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I played Kung Lao and Kano in that game. Kano. Kano's Kano guy. OG. I love yes. Kano. I love Kano. I play him in every game. I mean, Kano in the movie also was pretty awesome. Oh my God, I, so I love good. him in the movie. Kano. He made me like him way more. <laughs> yeah. Shinnok's sister, like hell. Round one. Fight. I mean, that's like the reason I love Kano, because he's like, he has no business being in this universe, right? He's such a loser. <laughs> but he has so much confidence in himself. Because he's like, despite the fact that he's like, so weak and useless. I love that shit. <laughs> okay, what do I do? Right. Earthquake, earthquake. Ground pound. Yep. And when you can, yeah, that. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, wrong move. Okay, okay. He's Kelly wins. Uh, back forward, four. Yep. Oh. Yep, perfect. Oh, nice. That, that was almost the crushing blow, too. But uh, the second one saved me there. <laughs> Not also, also, remember you have a teleport, too. Because they didn't want to give her enough ways to get her on Tony. <laughs> Um, what's the input for that that's Round making you do teleport fight. in place instead? Do you know? It's just back, uh, it's, it's up down is the teleport. Yeah, so know. like you're it like doing like ground pound and trying to go up. To hold down, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. No, no. Yeah, this distance, you kind of like just want to do everything into wind if possible, because that'll like push me off of you. Yeah, that if was you nice. want her to get away from you, you're trying to look for the first down four or stand one one with the wind. Because she can't do anything about those things. A billion input errors. You're okay. It happens. It's, you're still in. It's hard when you're putting a new character, like you're not used to everything and you have to react so fast. It's hard, right? But yeah, exactly. better slow it down. Finisher. You're doing good. That's how you play a new character. You get beat up for a band, so you get it. <laughs> Don't. Whoa, <laughs> Don't that's the other thing that I have to accept because I, I, uh, like I said, I play around with a lot of characters and like mm -hmm. casual and stuff, but I never get to the point of learning them enough to be like on the same level as Scarlet and Jade and it's because I'll go in and play with them and then I'll get pissed and I'll be like I yeah. can just play with Scarlet it'd be so easy and then I go back to Scarlet. <laughs> no I do the like, same I thing I get you. Set. Yeah. Like trust. Yeah. When I started like learning Zetrion I was like eh, she's easy but like this is like kind of Nature. annoying and it's fucking with my muscle memory <laughs> so like <laughs> I was like eh, I'm just gonna play Jade same mind game but then I'm like uh, you know what yeah. let me get serious. It, right? So it's just yeah. easy to fall back into that. Plan, but 
Um, you wouldn't believe how bad I was with Shiva when I started playing her. I was just getting whiff punished on everything. I was like, this character sucks. It was garbage. And I say that a lot now, but like, I'm kind of joking. But, like, <laughs> I meant it back then. I was like, I can't do anything with this character. Like, how do I play this character? Um, it just took a lot of time to figure out like the, the situations and what the best options for me and the situations are. Um, and so I wasn't just like pressing things I shouldn't have pressed in situations where I shouldn't have pressed them. So it's all about kind of like, once you play more and more with a character, you'll kind of understand what your options are better in all situations. And then you can make better, more informed choices instead of just kind of guessing and doing random things that you could not aware. Kotal Khan like, oh, wishes yeah, your kind do dead. And you don't know because you just don't know what your options are, right? So you just do what the first thing your hand History and brain come up with, which is probably not going to be the right one. move. Fight. Yeah, Rock Wall is a good way to start a lot of matches. Nice anti-air with that. Don't forget about down four into wind. That's also really good for getting people off you. Oh, Ooh. right there if you use meter, nice. you have meter, but yeah, stop my protect that. Nice job. <laughs> this is hard for him, right? So you're doing good. Yeah, you're doing really good at mixing your zoning options. Ooh. I thought you were gonna low profile at first. <laughs> so you gotta get him. You gotta get him off, right? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta get him off. There we go. Rockwell gets him off now. It's. You can go back to playing. Yep, back forward four. I think right there you just like let go block late. Wait, what was that thing? Sorry, you're breaking up a little bit. Oh, sorry, I was just saying, like, right there, she just kind of, like, let go of block late. Oh, yeah. Oh. Nice down for Oh, you almost caught that. That was nice. Down for one under my mid. Love that. Oh, me. Good throw there. Disgraceful. Don't forget, like, don't worry, like, don't, don't be afraid when I'm getting, like, this range where I can do my throw, I can do, like, my back um, mm -hmm. two, I can do my forward four, just do rock wall, okay? Um, if you just have to meter to spend on pushing me back with it, and then, yeah, unless I false block it, it's super safe. Um, don't be afraid to just do that when I get to that range. Yeah, especially far rock wall. No, that was my fault. I jumped. Okay, also, if you do her um, down forward one from like up close, it would be better to just like. Oh, I love this brutality. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> this brutal again. I didn't even know that that was gonna happen. The the same thing happened to me. Thing. No, I never did it. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, it, it's automatic after a mercy has been performed, that's why. Sure, sure it is, guys, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Heard the same story last time. <laughs> Baraka. But yeah, it's like, um... For... I noticed that like you're doing a lot of like down forward one pretty close to her. Mm -hmm. The best thing to do, it's kind of like Jade, how she can like kind of like throw out a jump in into Air Glaive. With Cetrion, you can throw out a jump in into the Molten Trap, so. I hate when you do that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, she left to throw my, I left to jump it in my face, time to punish, and then I'm just getting hit with a fucking. Yeah. So, if you're like gonna like 
do that up close i would suggest like jump kick into it that way like they're pushed back a little more and like you can amplify it for safety Okay. They're left at that good range to where like you can either like back up or forward two or stand one if you think they're gonna jump. So once yeah, once you get into that range, there's a couple things you can do. Like the rock wall is a good option. That jump into the um, laser thing is a really good option. Uh, maybe just back dash sometimes, or just doing any of the downpour or one one to deadly winds. Why uh, do you fight, is back dashing soldier. right? And you can kind of get that space Homeland again. Security. Um, Virtuous. But if you're if you're super focused on zoning, especially if you're playing something like Baraka who wants to be in your face and is super dangerous in your face, just looking for any way to get back out once they get in. And she has a lot of different options. For that. Okay. Yep. Nice. A little bit too far for that, but don't forget earthquake. Yep. Exactly. So throwing high projectiles at you, and probably even some mid projectiles. Earthquake. Yep. She really can't be zoning you. She has to get out. Um, what's the best options after a block deadly wind? Probably stand one. Uh, yeah. Or Either stand four, one, two, forward two, three. or like just straight up backing up. Is uh -huh. like, especially in this matchup, someone like Sonya wants to always be on you. You want to take every opportunity to like back up or do a projectile. And like if you see me zone back, do a teleport. And what's her, her um fatal blow confirms one one? Fatal yep, one one coward. confirms like literally everything. <laughs> Same two. thing with her forward two. Like if you hit either of those, it's like fatal blow time, or it's molten trap time, or deadly winds time. Nope. Oh fingers. You're gonna have to okay. me. Yeah. Nice. Yep, that also gets you under projectiles too, gets you a combo. Uh, that's another way if you have fatal blow and you want to hit it, you can hit it with that move, here's the meter. Um, yep, perfect. I try to do it, yep, there we go. Your game plan. <laughs> teleport, you didn't need to teleport in. <laughs> you didn't need to do that. Now you're in corner, now you're in bad news. Like, no, it's okay. It's just a mistake, right? Uh, yeah, super. Like, you you had. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Wow. You had the big life lead, you had the screen space. You wanted to just keep backing up. You didn't want to teleport in. Finisher. <laughs> My fault. She just takes some getting used to. Like, trust. She's not like, you know, like, she's like easy in concept, but like, getting used to a new character is never like that simple. There's a yeah, lot of muscle hard. memory to unpack and regain, so. Mm -hmm. And unlike a lot of MK11 characters, I would say, she has a lot of tools at her disposal, so it's hard to know when to use all those tools at the right time. She has like probably the um, most special moves out of any character. Yeah, she has a lot of options, so it's all that freedom is, you know, with great power comes great responsibility, right? <laughs> you have all these things, but you gotta be careful with them. You can't, Elder Diva. You can't, um, can't go a little crazy with Lady it. Lady Killer. I'll play my katana. Oh, oh yes, katana. Katana. Yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. Emmy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I can't believe Candy's gonna commentate tonight. Gee, I know, it's exciting. so exciting. We discovered it. Sneaky. Sneaky. Round one. Fight! Yeah, see? Me coming in, the rock will just stop me from coming in. I do. Perfect, I went under my side. Pop me up. Oh, 
Uh, anti air, that was sick. So I'm gonna be careful once she's in the air, just like Scorpion, she can do teleport in the air. At least if you have the move on, I do. So some people don't. Yeah, I have the air teleport. That's why I got you there, because I was jumping in the air and you did, uh, like, an earthquake, I think? Right. So you have Commandra, uh, the air teleport, and you can play him? Yeah. If you ever do something like negative like that and you want to not come in, rock wall is a good option, right? If I did rock wall there, my forward one would have ran right into it. Finisher. Oh, I was trying to do rock wall. <laughs> it's okay. Mercy. That was a bit too close. I mean, it's true. <laughs> She's privileged in a lot of ways. Metreon. I mean, she has that full screen fatal blow that's gonna counter. She had just enough life to counter the projectile. Right. Super good use of it, honestly. That's what you gotta do. I mean, my thought, my game plan was that, like, I had this big life lead, I'm just gonna throw projectiles at you and chip you out. But with that fatal blow, I can't do that, right? Yeah, you used it perfectly. Yes, ma'am. One thing I also noticed you, like, jump back teleport a lot when you like kind of yeah. feel like they're gonna advance on you. I think you would be better off doing jump back one. That way like okay. they kind of just walk back into your attack and then like when you land, you could do like stand one into your wind. Yeah. Kind of pressure You're not from using there. stand one a lot. You're gonna use that a yeah. lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, stand one is like the yeah, everything on. dual. Sonya Blade. Like even in neutral for footsies, like just throwing mm -hmm. it out there is pretty good. The hourglass. If they're at that distance where they can start doing like their forward advancing moves, just one one is going to stop a lot of them because it's faster and it's got a better hitbox. Yes. It's one of those moves where the um the hitbox is disjointed from the hurtbox, so you can't really counter hit it in that way uh, unless you do like a down four or something from like, the really good range down four because that's a high still. But mm -hmm. other than that, like it's going to counter hit everything. Cetrion. I won't pray this is for for all the reasons that you love her, right, Annie? <laughs> yes, totally. Yeah, oh, nice. That almost crushed me a little. When they start, like, dashing out to, like, this distance, that's when you can start doing, yeah, that, exactly.
Nice punish. Yep, perfect. See? You're at that perfect distance where you can stop her from coming in anyway. Down on the good there, the stand one probably would have worked too. The rock wall probably would have worked also. Um, Target down. Yeah, look at that stand one. Look at that. Yes. Bro. <laughs> it is. Now you're out. Oh, no. oh that's throwing me. Oh, that's wild. Don't get too antsy when they're close to you, okay? You have the tools to get out, you just need to find the right spots. Don't, yeah, don't rush to like jump or down one out. Just like wait, to pick the spot. Then you can down four into deadly wind, you can rock wall, something like that. Remember trying to cancel your down four into deadly wind. So. Okay. Yeah, double rock wall is always good for hat. Oh. You want to try to do more ground pound and less of vine grab just because it's like a better vine grab? So okay. far as like, yeah. You have to time vine grab pretty well to get under projectiles. That goes into projectiles for a lot of things. Finisher! Yeah, teleporting in right there is gonna be hard because Sonya in the yeah. corner is a nightmare. You gotta be really careful with teleporting in. Just keep zoning if it's working. Um, I know you had like a big life disadvantage there, but she can't really zone you back. Um, we can go under like that. Oh, nice. Oh, demon shit. Okay. Yes. So disgusting. Oh, it works. So it's hard. needed. <laughs> Hello, got a motion. Raise your aspirations. Go oh, come belly, go oh, come belly. <laughs> round, My favorite Christmas carol. <laughs> yes. She's gonna, yeah, so you gotta force her off those projectiles. Really. Yep. Exactly. Or she, she needs to Ooh. know she has to come in. And then, then you can start throwing rocks when she's... Yeah, see at this point, I feel like she thinks I have to come in now. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. It's Especially like I can if you only get a, keep this up for a big so life too. Um, um, yeah, okay. You know, I'll just return drop too, so. Okay, yep, that's it. Use rock wall after that to stop her. Oh, nice! Oh, okay. This Cetrion is looking nice. Yeah, it's getting better every game, honestly. I'm seeing more and more. It is. Oh, that was a nice call out. Oh, no, are you the W Oh, my stand one didn't punish. Sus, folks. Woo! Oh, nice teleport. Um. Don't forget Earth Oh! oh um. No. <laughs> no, but I'm happy because I love it. <laughs> Those it's auto so mercies. It sounds so cute and bubbly too when it travels. Like it's not gonna oh, kill no. you. Like. <laughs> it doesn't turn you into bones, like literal bones. <laughs> it's adorable. Yeah, you had some really good like call outs and reads in that match. Just uh the only thing I would say is less of the vine grab and more of the um ground pound instead. Pound. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Vine grab's still good to throw out here and there just because like, you know, potential for a combo. Stick. But ground pound it like does all the same things pretty much, except better and faster. Up. We're going up levels of anti cetrion okay? Right. Yes. Now now here comes the pain. Here comes <laughs> now you have to be super careful what you do. A lot of her stuff has a lot of startup. Um, so just... What would you say? Have you played this matchup a lot, Finny? I do know a lot about it. Um, not that much, honestly. I usually just like to kind of, like, play patient. Because, you know, um, she can't really, like, zone him in the same way because he teleports on her. So, in this matchup, you kind of want to play, like, the pressuring wind Cetrion. It's enough, your Shinnok yeah. sister. Round one. Fight. Mm -hmm. 
And it's okay to like sit full screen and just duck against him. Because at the end of the day, he has to approach you in some way, whether that be like him throwing out spear or him teleporting in. So don't be afraid to like be patient. You stay one a little more. Stay one's gonna beat a lot of this too. Um, but also, like, just be careful not to press again. So there's certain moves where you can press, uh, but certain moves you can't. You gotta look at the frame data for moves, really. Like, if you if you block this, it's your turn, right? If you block like this, it's your turn. But if you block like a one one or a two one or just a four three, it's definitely something you gotta be a little more careful about trying to react to that. But you can get You're easy to react to that, but it's also something you can. <laughs> no, but you can also cancel it. Don't forget, you're out on meter right now, but you can, you can kind of bait him by canceling it. Ooh, Ooh you almost have that right there. I saw you attempt up a jump one. That would have hit him if he didn't teleport, so that's <laughs> that's good that you're implementing that. Oh, oh he like shit. just clipped you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, you can't. You gotta be really disciplined against him. You did the throw last. You was coming. <laughs> you have to mix up your responses to things. Um. Yes, that was one of the other things that I said that sometimes I get too repetitive, especially with uh, like with Scarlet. I feel like I got to a point where I know enough options that I can mix it up pretty well, but sometimes I still get too repetitive, and like definitely that's gonna happen here for a little while. No, for sure. I'm certain, and especially when you're playing set around, you don't necessarily know, or a new character in general, you don't necessarily know what all your options are again. Yeah, um, I fall into yeah. all my bad habits with the new character. Yeah. Just think about That's like normal. Um, every when somebody is playing you a lot of times, or were they playing Elder you, Diva. especially in a longer set, they're taking data Future and what you like. I'm always taking data and what they do. Like yeah. if I do a certain move, it's negative seven. How do they respond to it? Scorpion. And it, then they can adjust their game based on what they kind of picked up on your game plan. So it's just something that you need to also adjust your responses to things so they don't get comfortable just predicting what you're going to do. Makes um, sense. Harder said than done, for sure. Um, <laughs> habits are super strong, like, every, super hard to get out of habits sometimes. It's super hard to get out of habits sometimes. But, um, yeah, I always I think about, like... Say hi. Hey! Hey, Why hi guys! Fight, soldier? Homeland security. Autumn sitting there Virtuous. like waiting for Autumn and, and Lisa. Round one. <laughs> like play Apex with me, play Dead by Daylight with me. <laughs> oh no. Poor babies, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're doing the stream here. <laughs> in that situation, you probably would have thrown the lasers more than the teleport in. Probably would have been a better option for you. Nice, there we go. You have to you have to take her off those projectiles, right? You have to like force her off them by doing multiple earthquakes. Right. She, especially if she has a life lead, she'll take some of these trades. Especially if um, her, her projectile is so fast, you have to force her off. Them. You have to force her to come in. Yeah, I know it doesn't feel. Nice. There we go. Perfect. 
It doesn't always feel good to use the same move over and over. That's like a thing you feel like, I shouldn't be doing this because it's bad. It's not like if it works, yeah. that's your answer of what she's doing. Yeah, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Keep using her True. insane fatal blow. Why is her fatal blow also do so much damage? Why did everything that she has so good? Because <laughs> she's an like, elder oh, goddess. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the reason. They wanted to balance towards, uh, you know, cannon power levels, I guess. I don't know if they're going over there. <laughs> nice boss. Oh, all this fixed. No, you can't do yeah, that's punishable. Or... I just go going to the one just right. Is that kind of like longer than mid range defense? Uh, her air projectile is super strong. Yeah, you don't even have to like jump, you can just straight up press it. Uh -huh. That'll come out faster and be less like, obvious. Maybe like a little closer than this distance. Uh, that is it's super good. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know if you get the feet clipped like that, but it is generally pretty good. Yeah, it's like a 50-50 on whether or not it's going to be clipped. Try to clip. duck one and then do earthquake. Duck one. Yeah. And then yeah. Oops, yeah. I accidentally broke away too. <laughs> if you if you block her high projectiles, they're pretty plus. So you want to duck one and then take your turn. What? <laughs> and since you're already holding down, like, you can like just, yeah. All low attacks will go under high projectiles, so that's the only thing. You gotta look up for the mid one. Yeah. No, no, no. Mercy. You're doing fine. Just, it's hard, right? It's, it's, they're coming at you super fast. But... You also have a teleport too, don't forget. Like, I know we're kind of winning you off of teleporting in a lot, but. It's okay to do Sometimes, it like every now and then, you know. Yeah, especially if they're trying to heavy zone you like that, you have options. You don't have to necessarily only do Earthquake, you can teleport in too. Um, something that Eva does a lot, which always annoys me, is that she teleports, then backdashes. Because Cetrion's teleport is broke, it recovers so fast, people see the teleport and then they can down one you, then that one's in a whip in the backdash, and so then you can punish them. <laughs> yeah, that seems smart. I'll have to go study some of her gameplay. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you want to do want to end it here? Are we good? Or do you want to do one more? How are you guys feeling? Yeah, up to you guys. I'll leave it up to you, Emmy. I want to play Scorpion again, so one more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Scorpion. Cetrion. One more Scorpion. I'm going to reaction teleport you out of all the bad habits, okay? We're going to stop this. Alright. <laughs> Scorpion. There's one where you have to really use your deadly wings pressure, okay? So, um, like when you're close, the deadly wings pressure, getting the hit and then continuing the pressure. Kronika can super, restore super your family and clan. A sun. Round one. Fight! <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's okay. They was working out the bad habits. Yeah, it's, a, it's punishable for me. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Down one and we'll check me and kind of get the duck. Just do down one and cancel the deadly wins, even on block. Um, this that sand one stopped me from jumping there. I wanted to jump teleport, but sand one got me on the air. It's um, really good. Doesn't work. 
I didn't need to use that, but felt good about holding it there. <laughs> Remember to use your stand one and down four more. If you stand one there, you would have counter hit me. I would not have been able to do that like 13 frame mid in your face like that with stand one. Yeah. Stand one, stand one, stand one. That is, that, yeah. Look at how good this is. Look at how good this pressure is. Look at all this damage you did, right? <laughs> that was. Uh... Oh, I did not expect that. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, weird direction. Nice anti. Nice. Yeah, that that randomly side switches in the corner sometimes. Get everything off the anti air in the corner. Oh, Ooh, nice God. catch out the air. <laughs> Good job. It's okay to just throw that out. I guess. Like I think Scorpion can probably teleport, punish it, teleport, block it. But most characters can do nothing about that blocking that from full screen. So it's okay to kind of just throw that out there sometimes, especially if you're about to lose or at a point where you're really close to losing, which typically you are if you have fatal blow anyway. I feel like it seems like it's just a really good if you're a player. Kind of jump a lot. Like, you mm -hmm. can do that whatever there is in the air. Yep. Yeah. Always there. Oh, if the escape fails, you get what's up from the throw now. Oh. <laughs> I told you to watch out for another throw. It happens. It's okay. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard. It's not like something that you have to... That you can just nice. Ooh, you stop that swing early. Yes, there you go. I, re I reacted to any kind of quick movement of me doing a swing, so stopping the swing early was a super smart move to base teleport there. Nope, nope, nope. It's okay, it's the wrong input, right? Mercy. Yep. I try to get extra sweaty there. This is like the third <laughs> level, right? Now that I know you're yeah. poking me after, I can pause sure. blocking. We'll get there later, okay? Yeah, you're doing great. great. You're doing great. Yeah, I would say you made a lot of progress. For sure. The set down looking yeah. good. That pressure was good. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. She kind of has like yeah. a flow well, pressure like game, right? I have learned right? a lot about Cetrion just from this. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> something to keep going on even if you start losing matchups and just keep practicing it and you'll be more familiar with all the matchups knowledge you need with the character and then all like the situational knowledge you need with the character to keep doing great things with her yes and then i can be the cheap one in combat league you're the cheap one you can annoy so many people you'll get Think of the hate mail you'll get. Think of the hate mail and feel the power. YouTube videos that I can make of salt. Mm -hmm. Another good reason to play Cetrion. Mm, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, how do you feel about anybody have questions about anything we went over or um, anything we wanted to follow up on? I don't think so right now, but I will definitely think about it a little and uh so I continue to practice Cetrion, I may have to come to you guys <laughs> and ask some questions. Yeah, of course. Well, I mean, I mean, that's why we're here. Yeah, we're literally like your teammates. We got you, you know? <laughs> yes. We're here for everyone's growth, and not only in the team, but like within the whole community, but like especially in the team, you know? So Yeah, yes. no, this is really great. So thank you both. I appreciate it a lot. No problem. Yeah, of course. I have fun doing it. I like and really yeah, enjoy it. Yeah, it's so. fun. Me too. Yeah. It was a blast. <laughs> <laughs> but um all right so i think that's everything out. yeah um thank you all for tuning in um i really enjoyed this week it was fun like teaching someone cetrion 
Um, <laughs> thanks for coming I feel like on, I'm Molly. unleashing evil onto the earth. Like, I don't know <laughs> yeah, you're... right? It's like, hey, hey we yeah. got her. <laughs> like, you ever, like, remember Power Rangers where, like, Rita would, like, build a monster and send it down? Yes! <laughs> now, now you are Rita. Both I'm Rita, Rita Repulsa. Like, I'm oh, like, yeah. Get, um, get those Power Rangers. <laughs> right? <laughs> But yes, um, thank you all for hanging out with us. Um, I am going to send you all to Samantha now. Looks like, Ooh. yeah, another lady streamer for MK. Ooh, awesome. Um, we will see you guys for Khanum Academy next week. Same time, same channel. I was on to say that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, so you all have a good night, and we appreciate you stopping by. Let's queue up for that raid. Samantha now. Okay. Awesome. Right now. Right now, Samantha. <laughs> <laughs>